So hello everybody, my name's Simon Keane and today I am playing the role of a developer. I have secured a site in the centre of a major UK city where I am currently building a new office of about 100,000 square feet. And I've been looking for a tenant to take some or all of that building. And I'm delighted to say that in Dion, I've found a tenant who is willing to take the whole of that building on a 20 year lease with a break at year 15. We've been going great guns in our lease negotiations. The agreement for lease and the lease are almost there. And as you'd expect, I am giving Dion the full package of warranties and also a latent defects insurance policy that he might require as an occupier going forward. But the reason we're speaking today is that I have asked to be released after the issue of the certificate of making good defects and Dion doesn't want to give me that release. And so we've met today to discuss how we take that particular point forward. Good to see you again, Simon. Um, I thought it would be useful rather than leaving it to the lawyers if I explain to you uh, what I want and why I'd like it, please, in relation to this new development that you're going to create for us, which I have to say we're very excited about. The plans look superb. We're excited about the design and the way it's going to look. So, so this is all good. You're going to give us the full suite of warranties that you normally expect on a development. Um, you're going to get us the latent defects insurance policy, and that's great because I know they've become pretty common now for most of this development in major cities, but it's still helpful to have it because there's an extra degree of sign-off and monitoring and inspection with that. So that's really helpful as well. But I do need you to stand by the building for a period of time afterwards. I don't really want to be going to the contractor or the architect or an insurance company to try and put right a problem with the design and the construction of your office if it happens reasonably quickly after you've built it. And by reasonably quickly, I don't mean a few months, I mean a few years. I think you're a reputable and very good designer and builder within the city. You're, you've got a great reputation. I'd like you to leverage that reputation if a problem arises in the design or construction of the office building. I don't want you to be responsible for the full length of the lease, which is 20 years, subject to my right to break at year 15. I do want you to be responsible for a period of time when it's reasonable to assume that any defects in design and construction will have occurred. The office looks great and I really like the designs, but it's not a super complicated structure. So I don't need you on the hook for 10 years, like for example, the latent defects insurance policy is responsible for defects for. But I would like you to stay responsible for ideally five years after practical completion. So four years after the certificate of making good defects. I think that's within market range. Um, but market is a range, and I appreciate that the range is from making good defects for probably smaller units where there's multiple tenants up to something like five years for a major letting. I realise this is not a 300,000 square foot letting uh, like you've got down the road at your other scheme. Um, I'm just taking 100,000, so I recognise that. Um, and I think it would be reasonable if we could compromise at something like four years after practical completion. Well, thank you, Dion. I, I understand everything you say. And to be honest, I can see exactly why you're asking for it. And, and I don't think the overall ask is unreasonable. Um, I am giving you the warranties and the latent defects insurance, but I understand the point about standing behind and um, being that sort of interface with the professional team. And I'm happy to do that, I think, but I think five years is too long. Ideally, I'd be looking for two, maybe three years. Is there a compromise that we can find there? Well, I think that if we can compromise at something like um, 
three or four years, maybe the actual compromise is three and a half years, which I think is probably an unusual period to pick. But if you're fixed on two and I'm fixed on five, then I guess maybe that is the common ground. Uh, but it's good that you're happy to be responsible for that. And I think if you are responsible for that, that would be very helpful. I won't be looking for, for example, an indemnity in relation to any losses we suffer as a result of this happening. I'll just be looking to carve out design and construction defects from the repairing obligation for that period of time only. Um, and obviously at the end of that period of time, as long as nothing has happened, then you'll be off the hook. So if you could live with three and a half years, then I, I would definitely be fine with that. Okay, thank you. I'll recommend that to my partners. Great, and I'll do likewise. <laughs>